everybody, back here again for our vlog a day. And today is Tuesday, the 20th, known as 420. Um, a lot of weed jokes and memes and all that good stuff out there um, wrapping around the cannabis industry and the cannabis enjoyment of life, I guess, out there. So, not a fan. Oh, I can't say I'm not a fan. I'm a giant fan of it, but from what I heard, never tried it. So, don't know if I'm actually a fan of it or not. I'm not willing to um, take anything that's considered illegal. And I went 45 plus years of my life and never consumed an illegal drug. Um, just so why start now? So it'll be recreational here pretty soon. I don't feel like getting a uh, mail card. And the CBD that I've tried in the past um, just gives me horrendous nightmares. doesn't do much for me, so I don't want to spend all that money. It's a few hundred bucks by the time you get a medical card, and you now have a stigma on your medical record that states the fact that you are a cannabis user, you know, for the rest of your life um, for something that I may not actually get the benefits out of. So not uh, something I've been uh, messing with. I keep thinking when I get to Colorado or somewhere it's recreationally legal, I will give it a try. The day it uh, is recreationally legal here in Florida, I will uh, definitely partake in it at that moment. But I'm not willing to uh, do that. So I, I want to be able to go with the fact of knowing that I can still, especially speaking to like my younger nephews and stuff and my younger cousins and different things and whatnot, I think it'd be cousins more than nephews, but um, the younger people in my life, the younger kids I deal with, seeing, I could, I've never taken any legal you know, drug, I, I can say it, and I won't be able to say, you know, I've never taken, you know, illegal substance, because I have, you know, chewed tobacco, and smoked some cigarettes, and drank a copious amount of alcohol below my legal age, um, but that right there is not the same as what I'm saying, so those are all legal, um, they were just illegal because of my age restriction, not because of, fel you know, federal laws, and the fact you cannot have them, so um, that's kind of where that one is going on yet, yeah. but today was a, um, Guard just has a hell of a spinoff on that squirrel um, rabbit run down there, that hole. So, yeah, interesting. But today was a um, rainy, crappy, um, just miserable day. Woke up not feeling great. Um, got up fairly um, quickly. Got up, uh, let Bruce out, uh, let the puppy in when they got here. Um, I got him for the day, and the puppy was full of energy. And, of course, it's raining all day, so we're not wanting to be outside playing and stuff. So we kind of just say it was a lazy, crappy, crappy day. Uh, I did play on the stock market a little bit here and there. Nothing major. Um, end up buying a little bit of the Dogecoin. I think it's, I don't see it's going to go anywhere. I don't know if it's going to, it's never going to be Bitcoin. It's only $50,000 a share, but I went ahead and bought a little bit. I had a little extra cash just kind of laying there not doing nothing that was not enough to justify buying any actual stock. I, I don't know when I'm going to get more money put back in that account. So uh, I'm basically dumping money into Karen's account instead right now to get her account built up so I can kind of have a couple accounts going and move from there but we'll see what happens i might sell a couple things and buy some other stuff i don't know exactly what i'm doing with that account but we'll see um went ahead though um just ended up having my leftover pizza I had some leftover pizza i had since friday i think it's friday it was time to get it eaten um, it was the last day i was feeling safe eating it and i was even then was feeling a little bit on that not certain it was 100 percent safe so i wouldn't have fed it to a stranger at this time but it's for myself so it's not that big a deal but I just kind of, it was just the rain, the couple days of rain, I had like, you know, two, three days of rain, just, it, oh, it's awful. It just sucks so much, you know. You're just out here just like, feels like you can't do nothing. Uh, feel like you're going to accomplish a damn thing. And I did not get much accomplished. I did get the house swept and stuff and vacuumed and whatnot and this and that. Um, spent a little time with the dogs. Um, basically went ahead and got my run in, of course, in the rain. Um, just, yeah. So the pup did not go with me on the run. Uh, he doesn't like to run much anyway with the speeds I want to run. But he definitely in the rain was not something he was into. But went ahead, uh, got a couple other things accomplished. Nothing major. Just simple, simple stuff. Um, yeah. I end up um, carrying it home from work. I gave the pup back, carrying it home from work. I'd made Sloppy Joe's when I got back from my run. It was um, too close. Actually, he texted me and said he was on his way back before I even got to the house. And I was like, shit, because he was on his way to pick the dog up. And normally, I'm already in the shower and getting out of the shower before he texts and says he's on his way. So I was like, crap, I ran a little late today. Uh, went ahead and um, started cooking my Sloppy Joe's. Got it all uh, browned up to meat and whatnot. Karen couldn't find a sausage. We've been having trouble finding a sausage on here, which is really crazy. But um, ended up with just hamburger, which is always kind of a bleh. Just, I'm more of a sausage hamburger mix guy, 50-50, or straight sausage if I have to pick a choice. But um, went ahead and got it all browned up. Um, went ahead and dumped in the um, Sloppy Joe mix. Let it start kind of simmering along. Um, hopped in the shower. Got myself cleaned up. Karen got home from work. Um, was able to basically have a wonderful meal together. 
uh, chilled out, watched a little bit of TV, and I was just exhausted. Like I just I couldn't stay awake. I was falling asleep in the chair. I'm just I'm low T maybe. I don't know. I'm like I have no energy in my body. Like I just absolutely have no motivation, no drive, no nothing. And it just sucks. Absolutely sucks. So I think getting up with the puppy might be kicking my butt. I thought I had it back in a little bit of a schedule. Then I had almost a full week off last week except for Thursday, which I think then bit me in the butt a little bit because I think if I would have stuck with that Monday through Thursday, getting up at like, you know, 5.15, 5.20 every morning, then it might not have been so bad. But I had that almost full week off and it was just like, God, it was so nice. And now I'm back to getting back up again and it's kicking my, kicking my butt. So, but I've been feeling freezing cold. Like I cannot say warm. Like I even had last night I went through excuse me and had to get up get an extra blanket and like I was just cold I kept trying to cuddle with my wife and she kept running away from me on the bed and I was like what this sucks you know I'm like I'm freezing to death over here so I like I said I had to get another blanket and I was just it was ridiculous I don't know what's up with it but I was gonna head out and have a cigar in the evening but I was just I couldn't keep my eyes awake I was like so tired so instead of it my back was hurting I was sore as tired as hell and went outside instead hopped in the hot tub um, enjoyed myself a little bit of a soak. Um, Karen realized I was soaking, not out there smoking. And so she came out, hopped in the tub with me, which uh, we don't get um, spend too much time in the hot tub anymore. It seems like most of my hot tubbing is mornings, and then she's getting ready for work and whatnot. So we don't do as much um, hot tubbing as we should. So we got to try and do more evening hot tubbing than that and go from there. So, But that was pretty much it. Headed in. It was like 9 o'clock. I was heading in. I was like, I'm going to bed. Like, I don't care. I'm going to bed. Um, ended up watching a little bit of um, Hulu and Prime on the iPad as I basically prepared to um, get some sleep and finally did head off. And like I said, I just could not stay awake. It was ridiculous how, I don't know, it was a lazy, lazy ass day. So, anyway, that's all I got for right now. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Have yourself a safe, wonderful day. Thanks for watching.